morning everyone. I am off to my parents to do my standard test route one and I'll record the standard test route two on the way back. We currently have zero regen right now and it's not going to be enable full self driving for some reason. There it goes. So we're going to see how it affects it how in zero region. Um, yeah, but I wanted to say it's was it thank you to everyone that continues to watch these videos. Um, I never thought I would have so many people and I had a couple, you know, about a couple thousand views per video. So I really appreciate everyone that is watching and continuing to watch, especially. I wish, uh, like I, I enjoy making these and I'm glad there are people who enjoy watching them. So thank, thank you. Uh, we're gonna see how this route does. Uh, historically, we have done several versions with zero disengagements. Um, 10.8, no, sorry, no, no, sorry, 9 point, uh, what, what, what version was that, 9, uh, now turn right eight, sorry, 8.2, <laughs> long time ago, 8.2, a long time ago was the first version that ever gets zero disengagements, uh, these last couple versions have improved that intersection, that intersection is really the hardest part about this route, and this right here, it's making it, it's making it, you can see the red line right there and it's going back over left. But it, it goes too far right, so I'm going to just report that and maybe they'll finally see it if I realize, hey, the car is going all over the place on this entrance ramp here. Um, it's not necessarily doing anything unsafe, it's just, you know, we're not doing it smoothly. But we're going to go ahead and route, just chill on the highway and see what's going So it's having a hard time, hard, hard time getting over. I don't know if that's because of, I wasn't looking at the, the turn signal, it's the sun. The sun was interfering with it. It's not like for as a human to look at it, it doesn't look any different. But I guarantee you that's the only reason there's no cars around to get it to freak out. But it just wasn't confident changing lanes right there. I did a manual lane change uh, and it just wasn't confident changing lanes right there. down sooner and should notice the car is merging onto the highway and get and give it space sooner instead of like once it's actually in my lane then it starts slowing down I'm hoping version 11 that's my hope is that's what's gonna fix that problem is that it's gonna anticipate traffic much better when like the two two stacks are merged So right here, it should already be starting to slow down for this exit, and it should already have its blinker on, which I'm actually doing. The car behind me already turned its blinker on. And so it should be right now, it should be getting over. The car behind me already got over, and that's exactly what I sh my car should have done. It's so hard to explain if, if I have had multiple commenters say it's like, oh, it's not a big deal, it is, you just kind of get over, but no. Everyone I've spoke with, my mom, my friends, everyone agree, if you are in this area, you will understand that you should just get off the highway. The person behind you expects you, especially it shouldn't break like that. Um, the person behind me had, I think had to jam on their brakes because my car jammed on the brakes. They weren't expecting me to brake right there. So it's just checking. Um, a couple of you have been asking about the new map data that's coming out. I still am on the old 2020 map data. Um, few people on the, they're still on 
they've got the map data update and I have 10.9 I don't think anyone on 10.9 has gotten the map update that's really good with this yellow light I would have gone for that as well a couple of people in the middle of the road that really shouldn't be oh god okay it braked after it was already going to be past the people like it there's a really a clear delay in the processing of how it registers things in the world and that can't happen they I, I i know they're working on it and reducing latency but those type of things are like life or death um li literally like with people like like it breaks after the fact i'm like that's too late like it needs to slow down it needs to see those people and like recognize hey we're gonna slow down before we get to the people and in case they do something stupid like run out in front of me um, but then it's like, we're already like beside the people. Oh, it was jam on the brakes. Cause, um, yeah. But yeah, back to the map data. Um, I'm really hoping to get that by the next update. I don't know if we're going to have that tonight, tomorrow. Uh, there's been no talk about 10.10 .10, or if they're just going straight to version 11. Maybe, maybe there'll be a couple weeks and we'll go, go to version 11. My hope is we'll get the new map data and that'll fix, cross my fingers, it'll fix uh, a lot of the speed limit issues and maybe a couple of the lane issues that that we have in this area. Really hoping, um, maybe we'll go up to Asheville again, we'll see kind of how it works for us, but um, there's just so many incorrect areas with speed limits, um, that would be just improve drastically just to have that fixed. You can see it's trying to get around this car here. And if we were moving, that would be appropriate. But it really shouldn't do that right now. Um, my preference is to personally be in the left lane. Uh, you can see the lane lines are just aren't good. You can't even see the lane lines here. But it's doing a pretty good job considering. You can see them again now. What it's going to do is it's going to change lanes right through this intersection up here. It does it every single time. A little bit of phantom braking right there. I'll tell you, I'll know exactly right where the truck is, and right there is where it's gonna change lanes. All right. I turn on the blinker. See that right here is exactly. Every time it does that repeatedly. It should stop for this yellow. Yeah. So it seems to be a little bit m more. Um, uh, aggressive about going for yellow lights. Uh, the one earlier was okay. This one really was, um, it, it was, we were too far back. Uh, now, if we were going 40 mile an hour, it probably would have made it. But, of course, we weren't. And let's see how it does on this lane. I'm going to turn on the blinker just to be courteous. It never turns on the blinker here. Um, it needs to get over in the far left lane. I'm sure they've done, they looked at my snapshots from earlier so you corrected that so I'm gonna have to tap oh this is bad timing I'm having to press the accelerator the okay I'm not pressing it now we are we need to get over I'm gonna go ahead and snapshot that so it made it it did do it well um, and part of that reasoning is because it changed from a flashing yellow to a solid yellow, and it wanted to stop, and... Oh, crap. <laughs> That's not a disengagement. I just forgot the turn. <laughs> um, stop in here real quick, and I'll bring you back once we're done. Hey, everyone. See how it does in the last bit? So... Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna... So far, knock on wood, we had zero disengagements. Um, we'll see if 10.9 improves getting into the turn lanes I almost guarantee we're gonna get a disengagement going into these turn lanes up here um, unless I'm just really lax about it we, we might we might see how it goes but um, 
I would like to see it improve and fix that. I don't think map data is going to do it. It, it. That's strictly a vision issue. Good. And actually, it probably braked harder because this car is braking. So right here, let's see what it does. The lane lines are poor. No, no, that's going to be a disengagement. Not gonna, not gonna settle for that. It went all the way into the lane. Didn't even, didn't even try to stay in the right lane. So I can't settle for that, everyone. Um, I think me letting it do it that one time, they got wrong data. Like right here, like it's halfway in the turn lane. It needs to. That that's what vision needs to get better at. It's like understanding how the environment's supposed to be, even though the lines don't say say it correctly okay so right here is probably where our second disengagement is going to be oh okay so that's some of the better times it's done it um not perfect and i suspect that's due to having a follow car it always seems to be better right there if we have a follow car so most likely that's why it did that spot well so this is um i'm not not gonna uh, call it too soon because we've messed up at this turn before. And I'd should slow down a little bit sooner. But um, otherwise, good. So one disengagement, everyone. Um, improvement from 10.8. Wait, I think <laughs> I have to review that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's an improvement from 10.8, but overall improvement. Um, from previous versions that I've had a better drive on this route on a previous version. Uh, that could be due to salt. That could be due to the traffic. What's this person doing? They trying to back up? Well, that's an edge case. Um, okay. They're trying to back up in their driveway. Yeah. Not expecting it to get around there, but that doesn't count for the disengagement. That's a good edge case, though. Um, what's like, again? Level four has has to be able to adapt for that. It is not level four, in my opinion, if it can't handle what I just did. It is level three. And until it can handle a situation like that, it will never be level four. That is a very relatively common acceptable situation that the car should be able to handle and so if it can't handle that situation it will never be a robo taxi that's it that could happen at any time there will be people who purposely cause stuff like that that the robo taxi has to be able to handle and so those things need to happen but yeah i think that's gonna be the end of this video everyone as always, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate everyone sticking around, all the new subscribers. I appreciate all the likes you're giving me, all the love. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.